So we tried to do this a year ago. Um, we actually sold our house a year ago, sold all the things in our house, everything. And then we right before on mattresses. we were sleeping on mattresses, we had nothing in our bare house. Um, and then right before we made the decision not to go. GoPro capture. Cameron, I'm gonna throw you in. Don't just don't look. Kevin, see the black camera? Not that bright. Ready? Right? Yeah. GoPro capture. Fifteen years ago we said we were gonna do it when I turned fifty and retired from the fire department. Yeah. Then three years ago, or two and a half years ago, we said we were gonna go. Um about three years ago we said we were gonna go and a year later we sold everything. And then uh, didn't end up finding a boat and didn't go in and COVID. Mm -hmm. It was like in the middle of COVID. Mm -hmm. And then this time we started planning it in like January this year, December. Yeah. Started talking about it in December and I think we made a decision in January. Yeah. And that is all that is left. Two boxes, oh, three boxes. Three boxes and a Peloton. Everything's cleaned up, ready to go. We're on our way. Let's see what we got going on in here though. Yeah, mom, you've seen this a lot. There's mom and boys. They're putting together all the new pillows, the new bedding. Here we go. T minus 24 hours. No, probably like 28 hours actually. We're getting close. We had one last family meeting in our living room where some of us cried. We loaded up all our stuff and said goodbye to our home. We met all our friends and family at the park for one final goodbye. It was hard not knowing the next time we would see everyone again. Some took it harder than others. Then it was straight to the airport for our red eye to Florida. All right, we just got off she our plane. For the first time. All right, there she be. There she is. So thick. So thick. Oh yeah. What you think? It's beautiful. It's a ton bigger than our last time we were on. Wait, can we bigger. get on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hold on. The front's a lot smaller, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, Because it has a big walkout. Yeah, the front is. Oh. Uh, right. There it is, chicken. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, my. That is thick. That is a thick line. Oh, no, it's thick. Woo. No, it's the window, yeah. 50,000 pound line. Oh, look at this. 50,000 pound line. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's a Spear gun? I, there's, I thought there were there's just slings. two Hawaiian slings and a spear gun. Spear gun. Oh yeah, spear guns, so some cool. Hawaiian look slings. At, wait, look. Oh no. Oh, they always smell like this. It's been a lot. Yeah, I like candles, hella candles. Oh yeah. <laughs> like candles. Well, it's been, it's been closed and we got all of our stuff in here. I don't remember much from sailing, but I definitely remember the smell. Like, it's like candles. Yeah, it's like candles. Like candles. Hey, you know what it smells like? Freedom. Our old boat. Freedom. It smells like it smells of freedom. The water! Oh, this is hella candles. Whoa! Dad! There's you can see the water through here. Like when you're walking yeah. up the steps, yeah. that's so you cool. can see into it. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I see it. Okay, I'm gonna go see my bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. 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 let us go so we'll rent that. We have that rented for 10 days. So that'd be fun, at least for the kids to be able to hang. First things first, Malia and I headed to the Miami hospital where she was seeing a specialist for her recent diagnosis of a blood disorder. He was kind enough to draw some blood and give her an infusion so we would have nothing to worry about as we started our adventure. Next up was provisioning. Just over here preparing for the end of the world. People are looking at us like we're crazy. How many aisles did we get through? Four. All right, first dinghy ride, because we got a flat dinghy. They say... Never judge a man by the size of his deflated dinghy. That's what they say. I don't know. I don't know who they are, but that's what they say. Anyways, Camden's hot. Probably because they have pants and a black shirt. Boys are tired, because they had a red eye. But first order of business, we gotta get this dinghy not flat. For the next couple of days, it was all about grocery shopping, provisioning, and unboxing items that had been shipped. There were a ton. It's gonna be a long week. The best advice we got from some friends was to vacuum seal our meat 
and pre-freeze it prior to putting it in our freezer in our boat. This is because it is really difficult for it to freeze unless it is all pre-frozen. Look at our freezer. Yahoo! And turkey. Just sludge located in the sail drive transmission. Is there any issues that you've had with that in the past? Question mark. It's thick like you could pull it out with a spoon. All right, boat life begins with none of our bilge pumps working. And then I come in here to do some stuff and I hear a drip, drip, drip. So this is all full, so I turned the override bilge on and it pumped water out. But this is the floor, port side floorboards. So go get me some, uh, get me a flashlight. Looks like it's coming off the toilet. Not that big of a deal, except for the fact that it's not automatically turning on, which is the problem, so you can see. Steve was fixing the boat, the girls were provisioning, but the boys were living their best lives. We had scheduled to do our insurance sign-off sale, but given the current state of our boat, we weren't able to do that. Calvin was kind enough to stick around and help Steve with some of the boat repairs. When you see you going from water to fuel, you close it. Yeah. Sometimes there's debris in there, you want to bang on this a little bit, okay. get some of the gun cats or whatever. Yeah. Um, worst case scenario, if it's really bad, you have to disconnect this whole thing and clean it out. Yeah. But this doesn't look too bad. Okay. The next day, after fixing all of our boat issues and a quick refresher course, we were able to take our boat out for the first time as banana pancakes. Last words of advice? Go slow. Take it slow. All right. Did you pass? Yeah. <laughs> Next up was figuring out storage on the boat. Love Wade, Natalie, and their family, but I also love black. So we're going to paint it black. It's really hard vibe. to decorate with this wood color. So I really like things super clean and I don't like a lot of things. So this is really difficult for me because so much storage is done behind here. So I had to get bins. The amount of target runs we did was insane. And the amount of measuring and purchasing bins was also insane. Loading and unloading is what we spent our days doing, from sunup to sundown. The boys were such an incredible help. They didn't complain, and everyone worked together to get it done. The amount of food and the amount of things that we put on that boat still blows my mind that we were able to do in less than nine days. So many plants. So, so many, many plants. Many. Really just doing it up. I'm trying. I mean, we still have some work to do, but we're, it's, com work. it's coming along. So today I am provisioning. And Which is? Getting all the food ready, getting the list ready, how much we're gonna need, what we need. Um, right here I have a two week meal plan list with all 
The stuff I'm going to need, but provisioning for the entire boat and getting all the food on there is quite the process. Yes. Luckily, um, the boat galley is laid together in like a book with everything and then also um, an Excel spreadsheet where we can enter in everything we're going to need. All right, so I'm going to be honest. I totally jacked up the spreadsheet. Naturally, this is why I hated school. Numbers, columns, rows, things I don't understand. I totally jacked it up. That's what happened. So Malia and I are at Costco. Say hi, Lila. Hi. And we're gonna go attempt to get some of this stuff done. Um, wish me luck. I wanna be calm and not judge the people that get samples and stop the flow of traffic. So, fingers crossed. In the process of repainting the one shelf, Steve decided to build me two more shelves for all of my kitchen appliances. Here to here. And then all we do is we're just gonna build it out to this wall. After the shelf was complete, we added some bins full of all of our homeschool supplies, added some pillows, and it was starting to feel like home. We're making our first removal of the Sunday waffles. Oh, sad day okay. for Sunday waffles, but. Sunday waffles is retiring. Aw. They had a good venture for 18 <laughs> months on this boat. And we're gonna put new stickers on there. New banana pancakes. <laughs> Provisioning a boat is no joke. It is endless trips to the grocery store and to Costco, constant loading and unloading into cars and into our rental house. The kids were amazing. Each person had a job to do and they did it really well. We would load all of the food onto a little wagon and then we would bring the wagon all the way down to the boat, unload everything onto the boat and put it away in bins. Is all the storage we have. We can't store fresh stuff. We don't have a huge fridge or freezer, so a lot of it is canned, which, by the way, grosses me out, but I have to live with it. Okay. Um, as you can see, we are labeling the tops. Why? Because we have to go and take all of the paper around the outside off of all the cans um, because it can collect like bugs and stuff. You can't have any paper. To label all the cans so we know which ones they are when we put them in the bins and put them in our storage place. <laughs> What's up, bro? What you get? What you catching? All right, it's been a busy, and hot, and sweaty day. And as you can see, we're still just loading things. All the kids just delivering stuff. There's food, there's oils, there's cleaners, there's more bins. Bins, 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 bins. More bins down there. But we're starting to get there, slowly but steadily. So filling up all the food. Down below, we've got more food down there. We've got everything uh, put in the bin. I'm gonna show you. So we're up here in the boys' bedroom. We've got half their bed flipped up. This is the other half their bed. So this is down underneath their bed. So you can see there we've got one bin. Below that, two. Up in front, three, four. So four more bins. We've got the same thing on the other side. I think we have five or six on that side. Obviously, you still have more that we're putting in here, right there. So. So much to do, but uh, the big win of the day, right here. Built this shelf, so put this shelf up here so we could put all the food higher, then built this lower shelf, just mounted it up today, so now we can put a bunch of our baked goods there. It's a small win, but uh, space is king, you know. The end of a hard working day, and the prize that we have is this new fridge freezer. Do a dramatic style, just throw it down, bro. This isn't Christmas, we're not one at a time in it. Booyah, deep right, sea fishing. Open. What do we got? Oh my gosh, we got the rugged and ready. We got the Williamsons. We got the multiple Williamsons. You don't know what the you're Wahoo saying. catcher. We this got the mom. Use right now. We got the mom hook. Wow, we got the mom hook. Mom? Yeah, mom hooks it. Hook. You picked it out, okay. It's a mom hook. Oh yeah. How do we, how do I use it? it? Out? 
<laughs> I do pick it out. Easton saved up all his money. Yeah. He just paid me. Oh yeah, and cash fish, money. And the fishing pole. And you got a fishing pole and all these lures. And mom picked these out. She likes pink. The thing about boat life is there's not a list of what needs to be done prior to setting sail. You kind of have to just figure it out and wing it. Just got my FCC paperwork. And how do you know how to do all this? You don't. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like not a step-by-step -step guide. It's just like, just it's crazy. It you just like start to realize like, okay, well, I need to change the name of the boat. How do I change the name of the boat? All right. So you look that up. Besides just putting a sticker on it, which we haven't done yet. But then you start realizing, oh, it's attached to a radio and it's attached to governmental agencies in the U.S. Coast Guard, Federal Communications Commission, all this stuff. So anyway. We decided to take the kids to downtown Fort Lauderdale for a night out. We ended up seeing way more than we bargained for. <laughs> Woo! Carver's practicing after he saw the girl the other night. He wants to practice. Get it, Carver. Or if I just been doing it. We can take you down to the boardwalk now. What a mess. I hate this. Oh. All right. One of the fun things about boat life. Is that when you're brushing your teeth and you go to spit, you have to put your head against the mirror to spit just to get in the sink. Otherwise, you spit on the counter because the counter, is, the sink is only about that deep. So that's always fun if you have to hit your head first. Last night was awful, pure hell. I woke up with the worst dark circles and some serious humidity acne. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, and a sty in my eye, but that's not even why it was awful. It was because our AC is broken um, and our pumps don't work and we're supposed to be sailing and we have to get all this stuff fixed now um, and it was hot as hell last night and I woke up probably 20 times it's our first night sleeping on the boat um, I really hope that it gets better than this because I'm struggling Came back from the store, these boys are crushing it. Doing a little cleaning, a little scrubbing. Yeah. Good job, boys. Proud of you guys. I'm gonna wash that water. Yeah, you wash that water. Yeah. Over that noise. You caught a jellyfish? Yeah, it was like goodness, that's Big! Malia, come over here! Okay. Alright, so we officially have finished all the boat stuff we can and we are ready to head on out off this dock. Hence the song. Get along down the road. We'll have North Carolina meeting. We finished it. So, the boys are set up. They've already got their fishing rods ready to go. Just tell me how far till I need to go forward. All right, get my crew there. Make sure, make sure we're clear. I just gotta watch this one right here. And then I've got boats behind me, so I'm just watching all that right now. So, lots to do. Not sailing, but we're definitely suffering by ourselves. Follow us in real time. Check out our Instagram page at Sailing Banana Pancakes. And thanks for watching.